My first startup idea was uh, Genbox, and uh, we executed this as part of a company called Gen Y. The three main reasons why Gen Y failed um, could have been primarily centered on, on people and relationships. The major oversights would have been that um, we, we chose an idea that we fell in love with um, based on personal experience. And uh, we probably didn't give, we should have actually come up with, let's say, five or six ideas and you know, chosen the best out of them. So we just fell in love with idea, one idea and then we just went on and executed that and put all our effort into it. My name is Vinu Nair and uh, I am a qualified electrical and computer engineer. So is failure necessary to succeed? I think failure happens in different forms. You should never intend to fail or you should never think that, okay, you know, I'm gonna discard this business and you know, continue with something else because you, then you're not gonna put your whole heart into it. And that's really important. You need to be working 18 hours a day, seven days a week, you know, putting all of that energy, you live your business, that's how it has to be. But, you know, the, the, the sort of method, methodology in which you approach different tasks should follow um, the system of build, measure, learn. And so that means you wake up in the morning, you arrive at work, or you go into your room and you're at your desk, and you've got these five tasks that you have to do. So you execute them, you're building, you're creating, and, um, and then you need to monitor, like, how is it going? So if you do those same tasks again in the future, there has to be some sort of improvement in there. If you don't track these attributes, you'll never improve your business and you are doomed then to fail. <laughs> so you learn from that and then you continue to build, measure, learn. There's always that. Whether you're a multi-billion dollar company or a small startup, it applies to everyone. How old are you? I'm 27 years old.